Today I'm going to be talking about King Kong 1976 on Blu-ray. Now some of you may be saying, hey look, Kong 76 is not available on Blu-ray, but you can get it from foreign markets. This particular one I ordered from Amazon Japan. With shipping, it cost me about 30 bucks altogether. Now you can also find it in European markets and they're all on region free Blu-ray so they'll play in any Blu-ray player. Of course here's the cover and on the back as you can see it's all in Japanese. Uh, of course what's weird is here's a picture of Kong from King Kong Lives. Here's the Blu-ray disc. Now in terms of extras on this thing you really don't get a whole lot. Uh, there's a documentary about the making of the film. Uh, Dino De Laurentiis wanted to remake this film and make it an environmental, an environmental picture about saving the environment kind of thing, that if you mess with nature, this kind of stuff happens or whatever. Um, there are no interviews with Jeff Bridges or Jessica Lange or uh, Charles Grodin, nothing like that. It's just a small one person's perspective on the film. They also include some deleted scenes and some extended scenes. Uh, the extended scenes aren't all that to write home about. They're really not. Uh, there's an extended scene with Kong fighting the snake. Uh, it's basically an extra three minutes of Kong rolling around with the snake wrapped around him. It was pretty boring. So they definitely had to trim that down for the film. I remember when this film came out. I don't recall seeing uh, a film so heavily promoted. I don't think Jaws was even promoted that much as this film was. And, I mean, they had everything. They had behind the scenes, like a book called The Creation of King Kong, which I used to have. Uh, they had lunch boxes. They had trading cards. They even had Viewmaster. I actually had that when I was a kid. I actually had the Viewmaster. King Kong set. It was great. Oh man, I loved it. I might go to eBay and buy it again. And one of the best promotions that they had was from a chain of restaurants. Uh, they're no longer in business. But this chain was called Burger Chef. And they were, if you spent 59 cents, an extra 59 cents, you got a, a King Kong glass which just so happens I still have them. There was actually a series of four. I only have three. I lost one of them. But just see if I can zoom in on this. Artwork. The artwork on these things was absolutely awesome. And I'm going to touch on that in a second. That was definitely one of the things I really admired about the film was all the promotional art that came out. I was just blown away with the artwork. I loved it. The artwork, the promotional artwork on it was unlike anything I've seen before. And the lobby cards where you can see the artwork and everything like that. Now you can just randomly find all this great stuff online. Uh, but I loved the artwork. I don't know how many more times or how any other way I can say it. I thought the artwork was absolutely phenomenal. Now with these Burger Chef glasses, uh, they definitely faithfully recreated the artwork and I just really, I mean, I, I very seldom even use these glasses. Uh, these glasses are going out 40 years old, so, and they're still in phenomenal shape. Take care of your stuff. Now, I know I shouldn't do this, but let's go ahead and take a look at that Burger Chef commercial just so you know what I'm talking about. King Kong on King Kong glasses. Get one free at Burger Chef when you buy a Big Chef or Super Chef large fries and a large serving of Coca-Cola. Or get one with purchase of a regular size Coke at a special price. King Kong glasses. Get all four for your kids. You want a straw? You get one you like that Burger Chef. When I would watch TV, I would wait for those commercials. 
I really would. They, I just thought they were great. Now let's get on to the Blu-ray itself. The upscaling to 1080p was actually very well done. Uh, again, it's a 40-year-old film, not designed for high definition, uh, so there's a bit of graininess to it, but the picture is far superior than what is currently available on DVD. So let's go ahead and take a look at the comparison between the DVD and the Blu-ray. Now one of the things about this film is you can buy it in high definition on Amazon streaming or I guess you buy the digital file itself but there's no American release on Blu-ray and I've always wondered why. Why is it you can get an older film through a streaming service but not hard disk? I've never understood that because personally I like the concept of you know taking it off the shelf, open it up, pulling out. You know, it's kind of like when you went to Blockbuster back in the day before they all shut down. You could actually pull and look and see if that was the film you wanted. And it's, I don't know, just everything going digital now is just a major turnoff for me. It, it really is. Uh, so I, I, I prefer having the hard media uh, to watch. Now, when NBC purchased the rights to the film to broadcast it, uh, they also had a extended version of the film, which showed a lot more. Uh, hopefully, if this film does get a Blu-ray release, it that will be included. Because there's that one scene where Kong just steps down on Charles Grodin's character, and in the film, you see the fil his foot lift up and then cuts away. But in the TV version, the extended version, you see Kong's foot step away and you see Groden's hat like I mean he just got smushed into the ground uh, I thought that was just much more effective uh, in terms of I don't want to say terror but it was just more effective to let you know kind of how powerful Kong was uh, this film did have one major flaw now, when I read in the magazines that they were going to have a full-size robotic Kong, I was like, wow. Is our technology that advanced in 1976 that we can actually have a huge robotic Kong? It cost them about $1 million 
for the robotic Kong. And it was only on screen for less than 10 seconds. On top of that, it didn't even look like Rick Baker's suit. I was like, that's it? So yeah, that's the one flaw in the film. That huge robotic, uh, that huge ro robotic uh, Kong was just a joke. Although it was kind of interesting to see. That kind of just killed the film. And it took a while, a little while to get back into the film after seeing that. Uh, one of the things that I admire about this particular film was the cinematography. Now, I forget who the cinematographer was, uh, but Rick Baker gave him a lot of credit saying that his cinematography helped hide a lot of the, a lot of the flaws that were in the suit. And I have to agree. Now, cinematographer, he kind of designs the lighting and the look of the film. And... I believe it won an Oscar for that. I know it won an Oscar for visual effects. Um, but this this is a good solid offering on Blu-ray. Uh, it comes in languages that normally don't come with an American Blu-ray. You know, here in America we usually get like basically just Spanish. Uh, on this Blu-ray you get, you don't get English. It says Australian. You get Japanese, Portuguese, and German on there with it. It's, it's weird. So it's obviously meant for a European and an Asian release. But like I said, if you go to Amazon Japan, you can get it for an average of 25 bucks plus shipping. So it'll probably cost you about 30 bucks. Uh, if you're a fan of the film and you really, really want it on Blu-ray, this is definitely the way to go. And I would highly, highly recommend it.